has Hot Wheels cars. And they're all over the floor. Lovely! That landed right back in my hand. Now I gotta go pick these up. Oh no! My flag fell, my GTR flag fell. Because the freaking nails that my mom put on it can't hold it up. I'm just gonna go like, yeet! Nailed it. Okay, let's just get to um, unboxing these bad boys. Well, you look at that one fell. Okay, anyway. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. I'm gonna unbox them all. Starting off from the top down, Aston Martin Valhalla. Literal goldie right here. Let's take that off. Hmm. Not that bad. This thing looks sick. Bet she have a Valhalla in Horizon 5, but I don't, um, own it yet. So yeah, uh, really good, really nice, really good, really nice. And now, Mazda Repu. Little, uh, I want to estimate 70s Mazda pickup. I just love freaking JDM trucks. Mazda Repu, which I just discovered existed today, but I love it now. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the Nissan Sunny, which is literally a 1971 Nissan Skyline. Uh, no, it's a 1968 Nissan Skyline, but it's a pickup truck, and I love it. These things are gonna add more uh, trucks, like this, into Horizon 5 and stuff, especially the Sunny. I'm guessing a lot of the player base wants a truck like that. We have this. Now we have Liberty Walk S15 with a LB silhouette kit. I was like, I really like the silhouette kits, especially on the Ferrari. You know, on the GTR it's cool, and I respect the Bosuzoku look on the um, S15 here. If I call that an S14, but yeah, I meant S15. Said it wrong. So about that. Oh, yeah, there goes my N.A. Miata. Anyways, we have the 935. It's basically a Porsche Dylan GT2 RS on steroids. Uh, I always like to keep the little back cards because it shows me what cars I have and what cars I don't. So now we got that. Got to move over my Valhalla, my Repu. My Liberty Walk S15, and now we got. I forgot to show you guys the um, I love this uh, like golden stuff on it. Yeah, this thing was made, I think, maybe because 50 years of um, Porsche's win couple like back in 1970 with a car just like that, the 935. They brought it back for 2020, and then yeah, they just made it as like a 50th anniversary edition. And now the car I have literally wanted for a while in pretty much any video game ever. Miata. Miata is always the answer. And it literally is a palindrome. No, it's not a palindrome. It's an abbreviation for the Miata. Miata is always the answer. Does this thing have... Okay, it looks like it has googly eyes. If I had a Miata, I would 100% have giant googly eyes on it. And nobody is stopping me. Alright, let's go on to 
row two. The Bronco, Bad Boy Bronco. I love this thing. They're actually coming out with a Bronco R, uh, like the Raptor R. So here we go. Really cool Bronco. I don't like how they have it at the headlights painted. I mean, they painted in the uh, Bronco on the front. But they didn't really get the headlights on the side, rear. Top is something really special. But, dude, I love this. I don't have many off-road cars. This thing is actually, like, surprisingly small for what it is. Like, I don't have any lifted trucks up there, but I do have some lifted trucks. Let me just tell you, the Bronco is probably about, like, half the size. And now, moving on to a stock C8 Corvette. I have, like, three C8Rs. But I don't actually have any normal seats like this. I wonder whenever uh, Holly's going to come out with um, a C-06. Oh, and uh, by the way, fun fact with Hot Wheels, whenever they design their cars, they actually make them lower and wider to make them look more realistic. And to also make them look um, or like drive and look a little uh, better. So they have the little seat here. I love this color. that now we have the 400z oh i love this thing it says z proto but it goes by the 400z 400 horsepower pretty sure it's a v6 or street six i don't know i'm taking this yellow i really want one of these things white with like gold te37s or something as you can tell i'm proud as you can probably tell i'm in love with te37 wheels and also, I kind of want my first car to be a dumpster with a V. I want my dumpster. I want my first car to be a 2JZ powered dumpster on TE37s. Stanced dumpster with TE37s. This is not a dumpster. This has to be one of the coolest cars of all time. And I love it. 40 horsepower. This thing is going up against the Supra, which has 330 horsepower. Uh, I need one of these. With that, my other cars. R390 next up. Holy heck, I would never, I would have never expected this thing. Okay. So, so far we've unboxed um, two Mazdas, a Porsche, an Aston Martin. So we have an Aston Martin, two Mazdas. Uh, this is my third Nissan. A Chevy and a Ford. Oh, and a Porsche as well. So yeah, the R390. I love this thing to death. The R390 is one of my favorite cars because it's literally a road legal Le Mans car. Man, this thing is cool. I think maybe like 100 or so were built. Like the less. Maybe like 20 or something. I don't know. But I remember hearing, I think it was like 20-something of these, the R390s were ever made. Very cool car. Let me just say that. Okay, now we're on the final row. Um, now, I already have one of these, but mine is years old. The uh, highly modified S2K. I have a silver one of these. I painted it green, and now the green isn't coming off. And it also has a bunch of sand in the interior. Because um, I had a sandbox when I was little. And I literally buried this thing for like a week. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then the sand just got to the interior, and it still isn't coming out. There's still sand in the wheels of this today. But, yeah. I love this S2000. I would literally have a body kit like this if I had an S2000 in real life. When I have an S2000 in real life. <sighs> Always dream big dreams. Because one day they might come true. Wide body S2000. I gotta move my card back. Hold on. Like that. <laughs> Trying to make them look uh decent 
just as I did it. So yeah, S2K. Next up, I had to have this thing. EK9 Type R. If you don't know, EK9 Type R. Very, very cool front wheel drive. Mid 90s Honda Civic. Well, actually, it's um late 90s Honda Civic. Guess how much this thing goes for? 4,000? 5,000? 10,000? 20,000? $75,000 for Civic Type R. 1999 EK9 Civic Type R. These things are rare now. Like, super rare. I saw an Integra Type R one day. That thing is literally worth more than this. Yes, you can literally get an Integra Type R for more than a 400Z. A brand new 400Z. Integras, I think they're going for like 120,000 or something now. Supers are going for for 170,000. This thing, $75,000 for a Honda Civic. And honestly, I wouldn't do it. I just get a normal EK9, put like an put just like a body kit on it, like a nice body kit, like a Type R body kit. Just I don't know, like Audi. Audi straight five swap twin turbo. Cause honestly, I'd have to say that the straight five, the Audi straight five has to be the best sounding engine ever. Oh, uh, well, I mean, not as good as the LFA or the Carrera GT, of course, but definitely up there, definitely up there. Multiples of five sound really good. Ooh, here's one I just couldn't resist. I'm gonna be honest. Now, beetle i love the beetle so much my dad and his friends they used to live in california they'd see beetles everywhere every summer they would go like up on this hill i think like every day or something they'd go up on a hill by their house and just play a punch buggy because one of these would drive by every like m every minute every time we that felt however whoever pointed out first yeah, I just love this thing. Someone actually, um, who lives near me actually has a white Beetle. And I just gotta say, the Beetle has to be my favorite cars ever. Wait, I just realized those are new rims, huh? Yeah, those are new rims. They're literal rims. That's cool. Any of my other cars have them? Let me see. Oh, yeah. My, uh, do they? Do they? No, look, you can't see through the wheels here on the, um, repo, but on here you can. Look at that. Cool. Huh. Glad I picked this. Now we get to a car where, fun fact, Elon Musk had one. His, I think that there's like a meeting somewhere. <coughs> Him and his buddy were in one of these. His friends were going to floor it. He crashed it. A uh, bad move. Made it to the meeting. And then it was like a popular company today owned by Elon. They were late to the meeting because they crashed a $20 million McLaren F1. When I saw this thing, I just couldn't resist. McLaren F1 has to be, people call it the greatest car of all time. To this day, I'm pretty sure it's still the fastest naturally aspirated car with top speed of 231 miles an hour. Three seats set up right there with the seat in the middle. I know the camera's kind of blurry, it won't really like to focus. McLaren made this as close to an F1 car as possible. They even put a um, V12 in the back and lined the engine bay with gold because it was the best uh, heat reflector that they could find. So yeah, no one really thinks for $20 million. They're rare and it's literally partially made out of gold in the back engine bay. Oh, this thing is sick. So yeah, that is today's haul of Hot Wheels cars right here. Got all these right here. Yeah, needless to say, that was a very, very awesome haul. Anyways, 
I'm gonna get to recording another video right now. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment, comment down below and tell me which Hot Wheels car of mine is your favorite that you've seen today in this video. Oh no, by the way, I have about a thousand Hot Wheels cars, but I cannot stop collecting them. Hot Wheels keep coming out with new cars. I love to collect Hot Wheels, okay? Especially real life cars. Definitely real life cars. I only collect real life cars. As well. That's why I don't have any fast fishes, twin mills, nothing like that. So yeah, like I said before, like subscribe, leave a comment down below, try to hit 100 subscribers by summer.